You see, God has been doing things since I started sharing what I've been sharing with you. Because you see, divine intervention, some of us don't understand the whole concept. But divine intervention simply means God doing that which you cannot do. Or God intervening in your situation. That's what it means. And there are some people that God has intervened here. And there are a number of them. Testimonies, testimonies, testimonies. Even last Sunday when I, when I finished preaching, Joy had her testimony. Before she finished, there was somebody else who had a testimony. Who said she gave all that she had, a thousand plus. That triggered some miracle. Somebody who had decided kunyamazia pesa zake. Fifteen thou. Akaskia simu. Ding. And it happens to us. But the point is, I will stretch myself on my finances when it comes to giving to the Lord. I will do it in faith and by faith when it comes to giving to the Lord. I will sow my seed and put a labor on it when it comes to giving to the Lord. I will not just throw it. I will honor my seed. You honor your seed. Una ona seed yako. Una siniri kwambia unakuja nae ukifurai. Hii ni mbegu yangu. Nilikwambia ukiwa na shida kubwa mwambie jirani yako mbegu yako ni gani kuna jua mbegu zingine ukikataa kusema unaweza fika hapa ubadilishe but kama ni mbegu yako mwambie rosemary sikujui lakini unahitaji rosemary ni yako nawa ni pasta eh hii ndio mbegu yangu ili accountability <laughs> I, i know some of you know what i'm talking about that it is friday you want to give 10000 because god gave you 100 now if you are not careful you will give 1000 but if you tell someone nitatoa 1000 alafu mje mkae pamoja mwambie sasa ni wakati wa kutoa zile 1000 nilikwambia hautakuwa na shida lakini shida yetu ni mkono hii ati utaki ijue hii na sasa ni mkono gani ijue hii imejua na hii najua bwana yesu asifiwe but today we want to do some something that will as we live my life and your life will never be the same again if we put the principles and the declarations that we are going to declare of our lives or our finances our life will never ever be the same again because the topic today is step beyond and receive you you have to kind of step from where you are and you have again to be in a position of receiving you know mtu anapokea hawekagi mikono hivi atasani kuambie eh pastor wa ngombe anataka kukupatia kitu alafu anakuja amenifanyia hivi nipe si hata nikimpatia itaanguka kwa hivyo mtu anafanyaga hivi na ikishaanguka unakunja ili isianguke unaweka kwa mfuko so there is the same thing that as we we have given to the lord we have walked in faith now it is important for us Otherwise, I have faith that God will supply my needs, but I have to be in a position to receive it. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I have to be in a position to receive it. Hallelujah. Because God has a purpose and a plan for your life. And he has said before times, many divine interventions that will come our way. God is able to do his work, his way, at all times in my life. He is able to do it. All what I need is to have faith in him. We believe that as we step in God's steps, you know, then God is able to do what we cannot see. Yesterday, I had uh, the pastors. We walked around the places that we want to start um, churches. Tell your neighbor, Makanisa. Tunaanza Makanisa. Tulianza Makanisa. Tunaanza Makanisa. Yadhika Rodu tumeona ploti yake. Na pastor wake atakuwa Zachary. At least that one. Hiyo haina shida. Na tumeona plot. Plot nzuri kwanza imefenziwa. Na iko na ngeti. Ah si. Haya sawa. Zachary tunakuombea. But even here we are going to start other assemblies. So I took the pastors and we went to the first one. What we saw are trees and bushes. I prayed. God what we can see are trees and bushes but what you are seeing is a cathedral is a classes are people being changed now god help us who are seeing trees 
to synchronize our thinking with your thinking. We left that place, we went to another one. We saw mboga zimepandwa la ini, mboga mboga, sukuma wiki, sijui nini, mboga. What we saw were mbogas and trees. Again, the prayer was the same. God, what we can see, kwa sao zini binadamu, tunaona mboga, mboga, nini. But God is seeing lives being changed there. So help us to see what you are seeing and to synchronize our thinking into that. Then we went to another one. Oh, this one. This one is even interesting. Tukazuguka huko hakuna manyumba huko ni miti na nini na kadhalika. Sasa hata nikusema unasema pale kutakuwa pale kutakuwa pale. The same prayer. God help us not to see trees but to see what you have in store. The point that I'm bringing is that you and I always will need to agree with what God is seeing so that and be honest. Mungu vile ninaona ni hivi. Hata vile nasikia maumivu bado yako kwa mgo kwa mgongo. Lakini ninajua wewe ukiona Unaona jamaa anatembea kama askari kanga yuko straight. Najua tukiamkaka siku hizi tunaamkaka na style eh. Lakini Mungu akiangalia naonaga mimi nimeamka na sta. Kwa hivyo ninamwambia siku moja nitaamka na style. Yaani unaruka tu. <laughs> Hebu simama mwashi. Unaona vile ameamka? Umeona eh? Kaa mwashi. Nitaka uone. Alafu uone nikiamuka pale. Lazima nishike, niamuke. Hata mimi, niamuka kama huyo kijana. Yaani tu, chua. <laughs> but I have to agree to with what God is thinking about me. It, you know, because I am the determining factor. Kwa sababu hakuna mtu watanifikiria ni wewe. Mtu mwingine akasema, basi kama unataka kuamuka kama mwashi, ji prepare and if you prepare we, you will si tunaendaga gym unaambia usishike unaenda chini na unaamuka unaenda chini na unaamuka kwa sababu umeanza ku kwa mawazo lakini kama huko huko ukikumbuka kale tumia katoa kwa unashika kitu ili uweze kuinuka bwana yesu asifiwe so the point is you will need to step out from my poverty I need to step out from my wants and needs. I need to step out from the worries and fears that I have. I need to step out. And there are some of you that have started stepping out. And you will never be the same. Because God is going to meet you at the point of your very need. So stepping beyond and receiving, those are two words. Step, to step beyond is to go the distance. Is to go the further side is to cross over in order to receive what was previously out of reach is to go beyond the ordinary experiences peter throw your net on the other side yes lord i've told the whole night but because you have said i'm going to go beyond my thinking my trials my worries and i'm going to throw the net on your right side blessed be the name of the lord in to receive psalms 104 verse 28 the bible says what you give them, they gather in. You open your hand and they are filled with good. Let's, let, 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 hallelujah. Psalms 145 and verse 16. You open your hand and satisfy the desires of every living thing. In other words, God responds to our faith and our giving by opening up New opportunities to receive divine intervention, resulting in divine provision, both directly and indirectly. That's what God does. Because he has blessings in his hands. So I will open. You know, it's not only myself opening, but God also opens his hand. And you and I ought to open our hands so that we can synchronize that and receive what God has in store for us. I want you to pray this prayer and pray it. Omba kwa sauti. Ata usiogope jirani yako. Lord, today I position myself for increase. Believing I will receive my full potential. I come to you with open hands an open heart.
pour into my hands miracles of provision, miracles of increase, miracles of blessings, miracles of new opportunities. Make me a channel to receive and then to give back beyond anything I have ever imagined in Jesus' name. Amen. That is your prayer. You may get seated. We may get seated. And you can feel we are charging there because we have to charge this place. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The step beyond our attitude of receiving. The step beyond is an attitude of receiving. And we look at a life of a guy called Jabez. First Chronicles 4, 9 to 10. Now Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. Now, I, I, the word honorable, we need to do some studies later. Because it is coming in a place where if, if that is what honorable is all about, then you wonder what not to be honorable is all about. But the Bible says Jabez was more honorable. I think it is because of his act, what he did. You can be made honorable by your act. So now Jabez was more, more honorable than his brothers. And his mother called his name Jabez, honorable. Jabez, Honorable Jabez, saying, because I bore him in pain. And Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that you would bless me, indeed, and enlarge my territory, that your hand would be with me, and that you would keep me from evil, that I may not cause pain. So God granted him what he requested. Jabez's attitude. Jabez, sorrowful, sorrowful or pain. So in, in other words, Jabez where he finds himself is in a furnace of affliction. He is in pain. He, he has painful circumstances. Even his name is pain. There are some of us, even the name we carry. Najua kuna jina unaweza itua mpaka unakuwa yule uliitua. Alikuwa mulevi, na yu umeitua jina ya mulevi, na unaendelea na ulevi. Kwa hivyo ungependa buwana akubadilishe na akubadilishe jina. Of course I know there are people who change the name literally. But sometimes I pray if your spirit is not changed, even if they call you King George the Fourth. Tanguka kwa mitaro tu, utalewa, tanguka kwa mitaro. But if your heart is cleansed and purified and changed, then it would. So here, Jabez he is in a situation, sorrowful. He's in a fondness of affliction. He's in pain. But why, why I think he's called honorable is because he called. And you know calling out, he's calling out for help. Heartfelt, passionate plea. God, he prayed, called on the name of the Lord. He reached out for the extraordinary hand of God upon his life. This was a daring prayer. And it was simple and radical. Oh, I know we can pray for hours. Thank God for those that can pray for hours. But you know, even for those that pray for hours, they started praying simple, radical prayers. Simple, radical prayer. Simple, radical prayer. You know, you can have a lot of language. Kaifafa. You know, you, you are from the mountain and you are calling God, oh, Jehovah, Jehovah, Gai Fafa, you know, and you are making sure every few minutes you go back to Jehovah, Gai Fafa, because in your thinking, you have a language. But I'm saying this man prays a simple, radical prayer. <laughs> he called on the name of the Lord because he was tired of where he was. Oh, tell your neighbor, neighbor, you, you need to be tired of where you are. If you want to pray a radical prayer, you have to be tired of where you are. Ati mungu atakuja. Eh, atakuja. But for him to have divine intervention for you, you have to get to a place you say, enough is enough. He prayed a radical prayer. The radical prayer was this, bless me. And he was not embarrassed. Oh, nikibarikua watu watasema nini. No, 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 no. This is me 
now I need God to bless me. Because when God blesses me, the blessing comes with my healing, comes with my restoration, comes with my provision. Oh God, I want you to bless me. And in your blessing, he goes further to explain the blessings he wants. Act God bless me. And you know what you want God to bless you with. And then you want him to fill in the gaps. Tell him. Tell him. So what he was telling God is this God. Mimi, aibu ndogo ndogo, na kubwa kubwa, sitaki, nibariki. And he was saying, bestow favor upon me, bestow kindness upon me, intensify in me your will and purpose. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, I can see that God in his store, he has unclaimed baggage. Could it be yours? You, you, you know, there are so many. Kuna vitu zako, wangombe. Kuna vitu zako, yetu. Kuna vitu zako, githai. Kuna vitu zako. All what you need is to call. It is radical. He says, enlarge. Nifanye kuwa sonko. Sima man. Yani, unajua sida ni... That's why you don't pray radical prayers. Pray radical prayer. Radical prayer. Radical prayer. Radical prayer is, Lord, it doesn't matter where you are going to enlarge me, but enlarge my territory. Radical. Enlarge my territory. Oh, what he was saying, Lord, now because I've been in pain for a long time, Give me an abundant increase, expansion of influence, push out the borders of my family, of my ministry, of my work, of my business, of my relationship, and of my dream. Enlarge my territories. That is really radical. Hey, God have mercy upon me. And you know, God will extend your scope, enabling you to do something new, if you continue praying radical prayers. Radical. I, oh, I pray that uh, I will hear a testimony of someone who has become radical in this church. Radical. Amen. Radical. Not age. I'm not talking about age. I'm talking about radical. You could be 17, but radical. Eh? You could be uh, 68 and radical. Whatever age it is, be radical. Si ukasirike tu useme, mimi nimekata. Sikai hapa tena. You see, that's, that's, that's a prayer of those guys that had leprosy. They, those guys that had leprosy. They looked at each other and said, you know, fact of life. Tukai hapa, tutakufa. Hawa ni watu wazuri sana. I think you, you need to reason like that. Nikai hapa, nitakuwa fukara, takuwa na pain hapa. Alafu wakambia, tukienda kule kwa ndugu zetu walio tutoa kwao kwa sababu tuko na ukoma hao ni kukufa wanakufa tutakufia wapi huko alternative ni moja i like the alternative you remember the story of this masai from laikipia they were being chased to, bring, to take cows out of a mzungu's uh, farm and they were told we'll kill you we'll shoot you and then masai says ero 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 Kukufa hapa ero, ni kukufa. Kukufia uko inje ero, ni kukufa. Ha kutoka. Yani in other words, hapa kuna manyasi is better life than there. Missy Andy. Radical. <laughs> I know some of you are radical already. Then he also said something else that which is critical for us as we pray radical prayer. He says, Put your hand upon me. Iwe kele mkono. Oh! Kuna wimbo wakikui wimbo wanasema, Jeshua nyitete guoko. Aigini marakaraka. You know what? People when they, you are held by God, some people are annoyed. Let them be annoyed. Jesus, hold my hand. Place your hand on me. 
God wants to enlarge your family, to enlarge your business, to enlarge your influence, but he will do it when he lays his hand upon you. God, lay your hand upon me. God's hand is God's power of divine intervention. So when it is upon you, you will climb all the mountains before you. You will cross all the valleys before you. May God's hand rest upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. The conclusion was, he got a shock of his life. <laughs> the Bible says, and God granted him. Yani hii maombi, haikugoja wikitatu. Atituende kwa kamati fulani, tuonge, tuone. Apana, hapo hapo wamemaliza, it was granted to him. Now let me ask you. At that point, was he enlarged? Could he see the enlargement at that point? But because he had faith and it was granted, alienda akimba wimbo kwamba kama nimekuwa na Mungu na amenuwekelea mkono, maisha yangu yamebadilika kabisa. Of course one of us one of our biggest problem is Goja nione kwanza kama zitakuja. I like what um, Bishop Mark is, uh, has been telling people. And I, I agree with him. When I pray for you to get healed, John, it's up to you. It's not me. It's up to you. So you came and I prayed for you to get healed. Now, I don't want you to do exercises here, gymnastic. Tumbo, sijui mugongo, sijui wapi. Apana. Because now, the miracle can only take place when you take your faith, place it in the hand of God, believe it, absorb it in your spirit. Go and see no more. Go and show yourself to the priest. Go! And as they went, they discovered they were healed then. Not now. You get the point? The expectant receiver. A couple of scriptures. Acts 3.5. So he gave them his attention, expecting to receive something from them. And he did. He received the healing. But the th something he was waiting for was money. He had an attention to receive something. Matthew 7.8. For everyone who asks, receives. And he who seeks, finds. And to him who knocks, it will be open. And in other words, when you are seeking, believe you are going to find it. When you are asking, believe you are going to receive it. When you are knocking, believe the door will be open unto you. That is the, the expectant of a receiver. Psalms 24, 5, He shall receive blessing from the Lord and righteousness from God of his salvation because he has believed. If I have an attitude of receiving then, I have my open arms and open hands and by faith making room for all that God is directing into my hands with a ready and expected attitude. That's what Jabez had. Listen to this John 16, 24 says until now you have asked nothing in my name. Until now. You, you know these people these people are walking with Jesus. He heals a blind man here. He heals this one. He heals... But these guys are walking with Jesus. And he tells them, up to now, there are some of us who ought to get to that scripture where Jesus is challenging and saying, ask and you shall receive that your joy may be full. And they were walking with someone that was ready. There are some of us walking with Jesus, you are faithful to him. And he wants to help you. He wants to sort you out. But you have never asked. Or when you ask, you ask a miss. Or when you ask, you are not radical. Oh God, you know, you understand. You know where I come from. As if you are the only poor person in this country. No, 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 no. We all come from karate. The difference is your karate is called something else. Hakuna mtu ana karate yao. Iyo karadi ya kwenu, diyo karate enu iyo. Iyo, iyo. Bwana Yesu wa sifiwe. So when I'm telling him, I have to be, to be specific. God, this is the direction that I want you. So Jabez had that attitude. He asked. His brothers never asked. 
We are not even told whether they had names like those. But I want to believe. Uyu mama alikuwa mama ambao anapataka majina ya kupatia watoto. Na kuna watu hapa nao wamebarikiwa, wamekuwa mapasta, wamebariki watoto wao na majina, wamewapatia majina mingi, mpaka mtoto anafikiria. <laughs> you know, we used to have a neighbor that used to quarrel his children and abuse them a lot. And um, they, they, they believed nyokwa is bye-bye. So they visit us and <laughs> you can imagine. And nyokwa. So we discovered, oh, <laughs> for those that did not understand Nyokwa, Nyokwa is your mother. But it is not the good one. It is the bad one. You are Nyokwa, you. <laughs> but they thought, so there are some of us that have baptismal names to our children. May God help us. But the thing is, expect to receive. Expect to receive. Expect to receive the right job with the right pay. So as I pray to the Lord, I'm expecting to receive the right job with the right pay. I'm not looking for any job. Uh-oh. I'm looking for a right job with the right pay. That does not mean I, Rorigi cannot wait for the mokwa. But as I wait for the mokwa, what am I saying? Right job, right pay. Expect to receive a promotion and an increase at your job. Expect. Don't just walk and say, Unajua hui muindi, sijui mzungu, sijui employer, sijui bishop, sijui nani, because you're employed by bishop. You know, expect. <laughs> Daniel 2.48 says, Then the king promoted Daniel. He gave him many great gifts. And he made him ruler. Yani, alipewa zote. Expect promotion and an increase. Daniel 3.30, then King Nebuchadnezzar promoted also Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the province. Thirdly, expect to receive blessings and increase in your business. Jabez is praying, increase me, increase me. Deuteronomy 7 and verse 13, and he gave love and bless, and, will give, and he will love you and bless you and multiply you. He will also bless the fruit of your womb and the fruit of your hand, your grain, your new wine, your oil, the increase of your cattle, and the offspring of your flock in the land which he sold to your father. This is what God wants to do to multiply me. Deuteronomy 30 verse 9, the Lord your God will make you abound in all the work of your hand. In the fruit of your body, in the increase of your livestock, and in the produce of your land. In other words, everything God is willing. Are you expecting to receive? Expect, fourthly expect, to receive blessings and increase on your investment. Don't invest without expecting something. Where is Yesu? Yesu tudi anatupeaga vitu yote bure. Lakini when you invest, Kama muko, kampuni na mtu goja, upate faida yako. Usiseme mimi sina haja ya. Unajua ni meokoka na mpenda yesu. Pesa, mina taa kwa da binguni. Aa, kama tunafanya biyashara na emuashi, tugawane faida, ukule yako ni kule yangu. Kama hakuna faida, tulale kamba bahasha. <laughs> but I'm going to expect that my business God will have to prosper. Because if there is any divine intervention that I expect from God, is that one. Even in my investment, that God will intervene and give me his blessing. Fifthly, expect to receive, the, now I like this, surprise breakthroughs and hidden provisions. Our sisters obey, obeyed the Lord, gave a thousand and something, I don't know, a thousand and something or whatever it was, and God surprised her by causing someone who had kept her money for a long time not to sit on it because she needed it at that time. She was praying for that kind of money. May God surprise you. Amen. Be ready for surprises. Don't walk with, like people who are not waiting for... Walk like you're expecting a surprise. You smile to people because you don't know who is carrying your blessing. Ah! 
Si ushuhuda yako nao ilinijaa sana. Zakari. Zakari ni mtu wa Mungu. Zakari ni mtu wa Mungu. Wakati kulikujwa yeye ndiye alikuwa ADC wa Moses. Wakati kulikujwa. Si akapigwa picha na wakubwa. Huyu jamaa. Picha. We. <laughs> we nani anapiga picha? Upige hawa watu picha. Picha ni nzuri. You, you know you could be sitting with someone that can save you one day. Alikuwa amenyimbo pameti ya kujenga. Aambiwa aongeze pesa. Akasikia Mungu akimwambia sasa enda. Uh, the anointing here was great. Sasa enda. <laughs> Architect wake anamuuliza na tunaenda hapana twende twende kuingia tu jamaa kumuona akaona huyu jamaa nilimuona na the power that be hey wacha <laughs> hakukaa chini mpaka alipomalizia sasa anaweza kaa chini si ndio zakari akae chini sasa may god surprise you sasa unaweza mwambia zakaria Zakare kwamba hakuna Mungu na anaendaga na picha because <laughs> alipo 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 challenge Zakare Zakare anemwambia ndio tulikuwa naye hii picha kamuonyesha <laughs> na kweli wamepigwa wakizungumza si huyu jamani kali sana <laughs> oh 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 may god surprise you may the lord surprise you expect to receive a surprise. Deuteronomy 33 verse 19 For they will enjoy the abundance of the seas and the hidden treasures of the shores. Deuteronomy 33:19 For they will draw from the wealth of the sea and the hidden treasure of the sand. It is there Isaiah 45 verse 3 I will give you the treasure of darkness and riches from sacred places so that you may know that I the Lord your God of Israel call you by your name. Message translation says I will lead you to buried treasures, sacred catches or valuables. That's what God is going to do. Step beyond, step beyond And to step beyond is to believe in God's goodness. Uamini Mungu ni mwema. Mungu ni mwema. Believe that our God is good. Our God is good. Is our God good? Our God is good. Believe our God is good. Goodness is his nature. God is love. So I'm going to go beyond. I'm going to go closer and know the goodness of the Lord. Believe in the God who does not withhold good things. You believe with that God. Yeah, yeah. How is he withhold kitu kizuri kwa mtu wake? Psalms 84 verse 11. All sunshine and sovereign is God, generous in gifts and glory. He doesn't scrap with his traveling companions. Message translation. In New English translation the Bible says For the Lord God is our sovereign protector. The Lord bestows favor and honor. He withholds no good from those who have integrity. With the orders to restrain from granting or giving or allowing. Good things is something that is good and we want good things. Pleasant, valuable, appropriate, prosperous, beneficial. Those are the things that we want God to give to us. Every good gift James says every good gift James 1 verse 17 every good gift and every perfect gift is from above it comes from the father of lights in whom there is no variation or shadow of turning good things are coming my way that's something that i need to know good things are coming my way from my good god why don't you say that after me good things are coming my way from my good god yes first corinthians 2:19 but as it is written i has not seen nor ear heard nor have entered into the heart of man 
the things which God has prepared for those who love him. They are there. Blessed be the name of the Lord. They are there. Wow. Nai time nayo ninzuri sana. In a little while we will all stand and we will declare some things and um, it will be great. But before we do, it's good for us to prepare. Inaitwa kujitayarisha. The step beyond declaring or declaration over my finances. That, that stretch that I did, that money that I'm giving in faith, that seed that I'm planting, I need to declare certain things. Job 22 verse 28, you will also declare a thing, that's what the Bible says, and it shall be established for you. So light will shine on your ways. Psalms 71 verse 18, now also when I'm old and gray-headed, O oh God, do not forsake me until I declare your strength to this generation, your power to everyone who is to come. Psalms 145, verse 4 and 6. One generation shall praise your works to another and shall declare your mighty acts. Men shall speak of the mighty, the might of your awesome acts, and I'll declare your greatness. Isaiah 42, verse 9. Behold, the former things have come to pass, and now think, new things I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Zachariah 9, 12. Zachariah 9, 12. Return to the stronghold, you prisoners of hope. Even today I declare that I will restore double to you. And we want to declare some declarations, and there are many. But I hope you will not tire. Would you stand? Because you see, I told you, we have to receive good things from a good God who cannot withhold anything. We, we cannot withhold anything. Hallelujah. Proverbs 11 verse 22. Can you put it on? Let's read it together. We want to declare to declare, you know, let's do it together. They the generous soul and he who waters will also be watered himself. We want to declare. I want you to declare this. As I give, I will increase more. As I give, I will increase more. In Jesus' name. Proverbs 11 verse 25. Proverbs 11 verse... Let's read it together. The Hey, it's the same one. Oh, I confused them. I wanted you to start with it 24. Oh, Proverbs 24. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, let's, let's, let's read it together. There is one who scatters, yet increases more. And there is one with holds more than is right, but it leads to poverty. Let's declare, as I give, I will increase more. Let's go to number two. Proverbs 11, 25. The generous soul will be made rich and he who waters will also be watered himself. Let's declare together, as I water, I will be watered more. As I water, I will be watered more. Proverbs 19, 17. He who has pity on the poor lends to the Lord and he will pay back what he has given. Let's read it one more time. He who has pity on the poor lends to the Lord and who will pay back what he has given. Hallelujah. Let's declare this. As I give to the poor, the Lord pays me back. As I give to the poor, the Lord pays me back. Matthew 25, 21. It says this. His Lord said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You are faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler of many things. Enter into the joy of the Lord. Let's declare together. As I am faithful, I am faithful. with the little, with the God will put me in charge of more. As I am faithful with the little, God will put me in charge of more. 
Blessed be the name of the Lord. Luke 6 and verse 38 says this. Give and it will be given to you. Good measure. Pressed down. Shaken together. And running over. Will men put into your bosom. For with the same measure that you use. It will be measured back to you. Let's declare. As I give liberally. I will be given back. Running over. Pressed down. It will be put into my bosom. Proverbs 10.22 The blessing of the Lord makes one rich and adds no sorrow with it. Let's do it again. The blessing of the Lord makes one rich and adds no sorrow with it. Let's declare together. There will be no sorrow with my wealth. Ah, siweke yu mkazo kidogo. Yani upata kitu alafu na umo na matumbo. No, 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 no. There will be no sorrow in my wealth. In Jesus name. Proverbs 24, 3 and 4. Through wisdom, a house is built. By understanding, it is established. By knowledge, the rooms are filled with all precious and pleasant riches. Let's declare together, my life will be filled with the precious and pleasant riches. My life will be filled with the precious and pleasant Riches in Jesus' name. Psalms 132 and verse 15. I will abundantly bless her provision. I will satisfy her poor with bread. Hallelujah. Let's declare together. The Lord will abundantly bless my provisions. In Jesus' name. Oh, Proverbs 3, 9 and 10. Honor the Lord with your possessions and with the first fruits of your increase. So your barns will be filled with plenty and your vats will overflow with the new wine. Let's declare together, my barns will be filled and my vats will overflow in Jesus' name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Whoa, Proverbs 22 and verse 9. He who has a generous eye will be blessed for he who gives his bread to the poor Hallelujah. And we want to declare this. As I am generous, I will be blessed abundantly. Hallelujah. Proverbs 28 verse 27. He who gives to the poor will not lack. But he who hides his eyes will have many curses. Let's declare together. I will have no lack in my life. In Jesus name. Oh, hallelujah. I love this. Proverbs 19, verse 14. Houses and riches are an inheritance from fathers. But a prudent wife is from the Lord. I, I like this because of the men that are in here. Let's do it one more time, men that are here. Even sisters, help us because you can put uh, uh, the money there. Houses and riches are an inheritance from fathers. But a prudent wife is from the Lord. Let's declare together. I will have houses and riches that I will enjoy. Even my family. In Jesus' name. Proverbs 13 verse 22. A good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children. But the wealth of sinners is stored up for the righteous. I want to say this. There are some people that are holding your wealth. Because for these many times you are underage. But today you have gotten into age. And you know what? It is going to be released to you. In the name of the Lord. Let's declare together. The wealth of sinners is waiting for me. And whoever is holding my wealth. I command them to religious today. Because I have reached of age in Jesus' name. Deuteronomy 16, verse 17. Every man shall give as is able, according to the blessing of the Lord, your God, which he has given you. I want you to declare this seriously. Yeah? The many blessings, let's declare together, the many blessings that God has for me will overtake me. 
in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Oh blessed be the name of the Lord. I can see what is happening over there. But we are not finished yet. Hallelujah. And you know we will not finish. But let's do three more and then we'll be done. Hallelujah. Whoa! Genesis 26 verse 3 and 12. And we looked at it not long ago. Dwell in this land and I will be with you and bless you. For to you and your descendants I give all this land and, and I will perform the oath which I saw to Abraham your father. Then Isaac sowed, sowed in that land and reaped the same year a hundredfold and the Lord blessed him. You can know the story. There was famine. I wanted to declare that God will do something to you. God will bless me even in bad economy. God will bless me even in bad economy. I will sow my seed and will have an increase in Jesus name. Hallelujah. 2 Corinthians 9 and 10. We have three more and then we'll be done. Hallelujah. Now, may he who supply seed to the sower and bread for food supply and multiply the seed you have sown and increase the fruits of your righteousness. Hallelujah. Let's declare together. God will provide all the seed I need to sow and the Lord will multiply my seed that I have sown a hundredfold in Jesus name. Deuteronomy 30 and verse 9. The Lord your God will make you abound in all the work of your hand, in the fruit of your body, in the increase of your livestock, and the produce of your land for good. For the Lord will again rejoice over you for good as he rejoiced over your fathers. Hallelujah. I want us to declare together. This is uh, Deuteronomy 30 verse 9. The Lord will make me abundantly prosperous in my work. The labors of my hands will prosper in Jesus' name. We finish with First Kings. No, no, no. Hallelujah. One more. First Kings 17, 14, and 16. For thus says the Lord God of Israel, The bean of flour shall not be used up, nor shall the jar of oil run dry, until the the bean of flour was not used up, nor did the jar of oil run dry, according to the word of the Lord, which he spoke by Elijah. I want you to declare with me, the provisions of God, provisions of God will never run out. Never. Put some energy into it. The provision of God provision will never run out. Never. In Jesus' name. In Jesus. Let's finish with Psalm 65 verse 11. Hallelujah. Whoa! This is what it says. You crown the year with your goodness and your path drip with abundance. Let's read it one more. You crown the year with your goodness and your path drip with abundance. I want us to declare together. God will crown my year with the bounty and goodness. God will crown my year with bounty and goodness. In Jesus name. I want you to look for five people. Five people that you think have faith. You can look for them wherever they are. If they are not near where you are. Go for them where they are. Because I want you to tell them you are my witness. Go to another. Tell them you are my witness. I have declared certain things. And you are my witness. 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 Let's get back to us. Say, those are more than five. Did you get them? You are my witness. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So shall it be. So shall it be done. In the mighty name of Jesus. I want us to lift up our voice and appreciate the good Lord declaring in our spirit, it shall come to pass. My life, my life, my life, my life will never be the same again. My life is changing. My life is changing. My life is changing. 
My life is changing. Your life is changing. Your life is changing. My life is changing. My ministry is changing. My family is changing. Yes, God is going to crown my life and my ear with bounty. God is going to crown your life. You are here with bounty in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, we want to thank you. Our lives will never be the same again. We have learned the secret. Oh yes. Oh, we are opening up our hands to receive. To receive. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, I, I believe and I receive. 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 My miracle, my provision, my restoration, my deliverance. I believe and I receive. I believe and I receive. In Jesus' name. Let's give the Lord praise again in the house. Hey!